Hi. Hi. I'm Crystal, an art educator from the Red Deer Museum and Art I'm Gallery. Gus. This is Gus, my son. You guys have met Gunner. Gus has been wanting to come to these. Okay, that's enough. All right, so now it's Gus's turn. Okay, so um, we are going to have, we're going to do something a little bit different rather than have the instructions um, posted later in the week. They are on our blog. So you go to the blog and the instructions are there, the step-by-steps, if you need a little bit more direction. Um, plus, you can also find this <laughs> on Twitter, Facebook. Well, we are Facebook and Love YouTube. Blah. Oh, Gus. Okay. Okay. We're going to get into this because I'm not sure how this is going to go with Gus. Now, we are going to be drawing bugs today. So you should be able to see how we have our bugs down here. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to switch it, but Carly did it for us. So Gus has a centipede and I have a fly and we have our drawing paper. The other thing we needed today was a hard or sorry. A soft leaded pencil. I have an 8B, Gus is a 6B. So the B stands for black, um, but it also tells you how soft the graphite is. So if you had a 2B, the, heart, the lead or the graphite is softer than an 8B. Okay, and then, uh, but we want a really soft one to start with. So I have an 8B and Gus has a 6B. What is a 4HB? 4H, I was just gonna get to that. Okay, so the H basically stands for harder. It doesn't really, but when I was looking it up, that's kind of what it showed up. So if you have an H, that means that your graphite is harder. So I have a 4H pencil as well, and Gus also has a 4H. And you want your uh, white vinyl eraser. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so the Vinyl eraser is soft enough to be used in an eraser without destroying your paper, yet it's firm enough to remove lines. Okay, now we're going to carry on. So we each have a bug in front of us. So I asked Gus. Yeah. Okay, so I asked Gus, um, what shape? We're going to deconstruct this bug. So we're going to break it down into easy shapes. So what shape is this, Gus? Um, uh a squiggly line. Okay. Can you draw the squiggly line? Okay. Um. And then for me, if I look at mine, I've got his head, his body, well, and two body parts. So I think I'm going to start with this middle part and it's kind of, kind of an egg shape, but not quite. So I have his middle body part, then I'm going to draw his head here. And he has <clears throat> a couple of really large eyes. Oh, okay, so you have the squiggly line, but we need, it needs to be, um, can you go around and make it worm shaped? Um, um. Okay, so I'm getting his eyeballs in, or I guess... Flies have lots of eyes, don't they? Yeah. Okay. And then he's got some sort of... Oh. His feeding tubes? Is eaten tubes. Yeah, is that what that is? Wait. I'm not sure. Okay. And then I need his back body. Hey, it broke up. Oh, here. I will get you... It's okay. Here. Here's a 4B. Four, four this will work too. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting his back part of the fly's body on. Now I can also see his wings, so I'm drawing his wings. And now. Okay, make sure you get all of his. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get his wings on. Gus is in kindergarten. Oh, nine. Yeah, I did nine legs. All right. Now I 
<laughs> now, no. uh, my fly needs like, some like, legs as like, well. Like, 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 like. Okay. Like so, do you know how to shade yet, Gus? What does shade mean? Shade? Um, shading, we just want to, we want to make the out, the edges a little bit darker. Shading helps make things look three-dimensional. Do you know what three-dimensional is, Gus? No. I uh, yeah. It, it's something that's it's fat, not black. Right. Okay, so a piece of paper is two-dimensional. This, our bugs, are three-dimensional. So there we can see them in all different sides. Okay, so then we're going to come over here. I'm still putting... Wait, I need my... Like, it doesn't have a mouth. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. He can have a mouth. It's not a big deal. Okay. It's a smiling... Now it can I, totally be smiling. Can I have this one now? No. If you want to draw with me, you can. However, I'm still working. Okay, so now we're going to shade a little bit. Okay. So when you press um, lightly, it's not very dark. So if we want to make it darker, we can press a little bit harder. Nope. I want to make this that bug. Okay, will you do it from here? Because I need to look at it so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this time I'm going to use this one. Okay. Okay, so I am shading. So I'm going to round the outside. So when we have rounded things, um, you have... Um, Usually the outside is darker and then it goes to lighter. So you want to go darker, lighter, lightest, darker, darker. So that's how you're going to get that curve. So on this part of the body, I am doing uh, the, I'm shading out here around the outside. That's going to be my darkest. And then I'm not going to press quite as hard just so I can get some of the shading uh, so I can make it a little bit lighter. Can you do the legs for me? Well, you're doing really good. Okay, so the leg is like this. Like this. My little feet. Okay. So how about you do the other ones? Because he needs six in total. You can do I it. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. Gus. I can't sit here and do the whole drawing for you. I think you can do the legs. Okay. Go back that way. Then are you going to shade him a little bit? You still don't have everything on. Oh, okay. We'll get the wings on. So I'm going to carry on here. And I'm going to shade a bit down in here. The other thing you can do too, if you want to show a little bit more, is you can always use your finger. And if I go over this, I'm just lightly now shading that whole semicircle or the curve, whatever you want to call that. Yeah, so down here on my fly's head, I want that a little bit darker. Back, 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 back. I want my wing back. And on his uh, feeding utensils or eating utensils, as Gus called it. Okay. And for his wings, I'm going to do some shading as well. But I'm not going to have it be as dark because I want it to be lighter. Because um, the, the wings are transparent, right? So we want to show that it's transparent. Oops. Not doing that. I don't want to throw any of it. I need to eat white. Okay. Okay. 
And then I, I'm just going to use my fingers a little bit to kind of smudge that and blend it. It was one lighter. Then for the legs, I'm going to go in and kind of medium, like I'm going to press with like a medium yeah. heaviness, hardness. I don't know. Yeah. That one's light. So I can show. Are you figuring out the difference between your B and your H pencil, Gus? My B and my H. Yeah, the A, the, um, the B is darker and the H is lighter. Yeah, the B makes things look darker, that's for sure. Okay, now. I want my wings to be light. Okay. You know, the other way you can do that, too, is just don't press as hard. No, I don't. Okay, so I got some legs going on here. <laughs> Jeez, Gus. Gus. You know what? I am at work. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I know you and you have been wanting to come with me. Okay, so I'm just shading a little bit with the eye, so I have that darker uh, on the outskirts, on the outer parts of it, and then lighter as it comes to the middle. And a lot of it has to do with how hard I'm pressing on this pencil. The legs are one side is lighter and one side darker. Yeah, you got it. Legs. Now I need a lighter body. Mm-hmm. I don't want it that light. Okay, so. Now. You're doing a good job, Gus. That's fantastic. Now. We are going to use our white eraser to draw lines and and we're going to smudge the pencil a little bit. Black eyes. Oh, I like okay. Well, Gus continues on with that. I'm just going to do that. So, we're going to take our eraser and actually there. See, so you're wasting it. Not totally. We're just smudging it a little bit. Okay. Do we waste it? No. I don't want to waste mine. As I throw my pencil. <laughs> I think I just broke my graphite too. Okay. Now, now that we've done that, because we're trying to get it to look like it's kind of flying or more real. So I'm going to take my harder leaded pencil. <clears throat> but, okay, I'll do it. You don't have to erase the whole thing. Just kind of go across. Just sweep it across. Yeah. Here. Yeah, you're getting it. Yeah, you take it across. You got it. Okay, now we take our now harder. This one. We take our harder leaded pencil, and then we come back in, and we're just going to go over areas that we want to define. You know, I feel like mine didn't have that dark enough. I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker to see if that works a little better. Okay, do you need your lines dark? Oh, I am having these issues too where the lead keeps falling out. Or actually, it's not lead anymore, it's all graphite. Back in the day, it used there. to be lead. There. I'm, I'm done. Are you done? Uh-huh. Okay. At home, I'm going to cut the, I'm going to, like, cut the rounds of bugs. Are you? Yeah. So, so there's still some paper. There's some paper. And, 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 
I'm going to leave a little spot of paper right here so you can hang it. You can hole punch it and then hang it. Okay, so by using the eraser a bit and we kind of smudged it, it's to give it kind of that look of movement. Uh, if I would have used a little bit more of the um, the hard, harder, or sorry, the softer graphite, then it would have smudged a little bit more. I was thinking I used enough. Why However, do you I did you not. Get oh, I don't want to. It's just so that I can get it to smudge off the page. But by making it a little bit softer in areas, it kind of gives us a look of... Um... Go back to here. No. Uh, nope. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I'm just going back in to adjust some of the stuff. I want to see my toes. You want to keep some of it soft. I want to see my toes, man. Okay, so. We're done? I have a fly, and Gus has a fly. You did a very good job with that. And then you have your centipede. Awesome. Centipede. Yeah. I need one centipede. So... Um, what's it gonna? Right, I was gonna talk about next week's project, and yeah, actually, I should show you what Mike did because Mike had done this project, and he did them bigger, and he used a little bit more of the hard leaded uh, pencil. Yeah. So this was Mike's. So he really went in there and smudged a little bit more. He did too. He did do two, yeah. And the giant. They are giant, yes. Yeah, so you can draw them a lot bigger if you want to. Okay. But this is mine. Mine isn't quite as big. Mine is. And yours yeah. isn't as big. So next week, keeping with the bug theme, and I don't have the actual, like the, the example here, but it's gilded magnet bugs. Yes. So next week, uh, you're going to want wood plaque, toy insects, gold paint, black paint, blue magnets, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Uh, but we will post it so that you know exactly what you need. And say we'll be doing the project and we will have some sort of um, uh, a guest hanging out with her. And I'm don't, not sure why I'm so flustered right now. Anyway, so as you can see, Carly posted that, uh, the, um, the blog information. So I hope you guys had some fun and learned some stuff. And we will see you next week.